If you're new here, don't be alarmed, okay? But I also feel like I should. What should I do? I don't know. I want some more blush. I just, I just need a little bit more. This is very pigmented. What? Oh, heck no. Don't blend it. Oh my God. Okay, this can go left real fast. Let's try shade 24 because last time I used this Fenty Blur Stick, I used shade 23. And although it looked fine at the end of the day, as the day progressed, I felt like it was too red. Okay, so let's try this one. Now I did say that I wouldn't use this during hot weather days, but I'm looking forward to the hydration that's gonna give me today because I'm still recovering from a rosacea breakout, which leaves my face feeling more dry than normal. So if you watched that other video and you saw the update that I put in the description box, then you'll know that as the day progressed, oh, my face was dewy, okay? So if you have dry skin and or love to look dewy with your makeup, then you're gonna enjoy this. If you have dry skin, and still don't wanna look dewy, you know, you wanna be like in between, this is not gonna be for you unless you powder your face before and after using it if you just really wanna use this product, you know? Or if you have oily skin and you certainly wanna stay away from everything that is gonna make you look dewy and shiny, you're not gonna want this product. My skin is combination and I love to look matte, but I keep products like this on hand for days like today where I feel like I need some hydration. I'm not gonna go and use a wicked matte Mattifying foundation when my face feels unusually dry. It's just not gonna work well. It's not gonna be comfortable. It's just not gonna flow for me. In my opinion, it's really important to have different types of foundations around in addition to different shades because of when the weather changes, but different types, you feel me? Different finishes, just in case your skin is acting up. So the first thing that I used this foundation, I swatched all of these shades and we knew already that shade 24 was gonna work for me. Obviously it still looks like it's working for me. I used the Sigma Flat Kabuki because I want to get the most amount of coverage possible. I don't want it to be sheer, you feel me? But if you want to sheer this down, then feel free to use a beauty sponge. I'm stuck on these. This is the LYS Triple Fix Full Coverage Brighten Concealer. The shade is D6 what? DG what? DG, the G and the six look to get, they look the same. I'm annoyed. DG6, okay? It's gonna balance this out because this is giving a nice golden look to the face. I gotta tell you, I can't believe fall is already here. It, like when you are in a whole month of 100 degrees beauty sponge in Houston, it's hard to even accept that it's fall. So it's just it's just wild to me, but fall is here. Can you imagine? Sickening. Now this is a freshly dampened beauty sponge. I did a video showing you the difference between the sponge being soaking wet and damp. Make sure you watch it. I also have a playlist, which is a makeup for beginners playlist. So if you are a beginner, like that's gonna be a good playlist for you because you can binge a whole bunch of videos videos that are perfect for you. Of course, we got a contour with this LYS stick bronzer in the shade Worthy. I live by this joint, okay? Live by it. I like it. It's so deep and dark. And by the way, I touched up my bun today. I did this bun yesterday. Part of me wanted to wash my hair and start all over again. But the other part of me was like, you know what? We already got this bun going. Let's just get the edges going together and just call it a night. I like when my poof is more wet, like fresh looking versus it's dried. It's been here for a day or so. Anyway, I digress. This is the Sephora 56 foundation brush and we're gonna blend this going up but really back as well, okay? And I love how deep this shade is. You know I've used this so many times. Love this shade. If you're darker than me, I believe that where the, it'll still show up on you. It just may not show up as loud as it is on me right now. If you're my shade, this is gonna be strong, okay? So go easy. Unless you are very comfortable with blending your contour, don't be afraid and then we come in here taking a lot, okay? I've used Use this a hundred times so I know what to expect and I know how much is enough and how much is too much, okay? I already filled in my edges using the Color Wow product. It's like an eyeshadow for your edges, girl. And then we're still gonna bring this contour product into the hairline because you want it to look as natural as possible, okay? Get it up in there. Wash your hairline as well. And then obviously when you wash your hair, you're gonna really, really get everything out. I'm using my left hand because I just, it's working. I'm not a lefty, but ooh, that'd be cool if I was. Now I'm gonna use this brush. Remember BoxyCharm? Do they still have that? Is that still a thing? I got this brush from BoxyCharm. The name is not even, oh, what is it called? 
Luxie. Okay, Luxie is the brand. This is from there, hence why I don't ever mention it because I couldn't even see the name until just now because it's been faded, it's old. But I used to get BoxyCharm and this came in it. Love the shape of this brush. It fits right here in a rectangular fashion to go right upside the nose. But you can use an eyeshadow brush that'll fit right here as well to get the same effect. This is the Milk Makeup Pore Clips Loose Setting Powder. The shade is medium. And then now you already know who to glow wish. Medium Tan 06 Loose. What? <laughs> medium Tan 06 Luminous Pressed Setting Powder. And I'm using the Sephora 79 brush to apply this. My face looks dewy in a good way. I'm telling you, this stick, blur stick situation, eavesdrop, Fenty, all the whole, all the things. Yeah, <laughs> it's giving a glow. I was gonna spray my face, but I think it looks glowy and good right now. A little bit of this milk makeup loose setting powder here in my T zone. Everywhere else where I had the highlight. This really does melt. Even though this is medium, it doesn't add a lot of color to the face. It melts very nicely. Lovely. Have you tried this powder? Comment and let me know. And for the contour, we're gonna chisel it some more with this Sephora 59 brush. Same shade, worthy deep from LYS. It's just going deep in the whole thing more, you know? <laughs> Why not? Excess or extra just goes down here. Not trying to intentionally make this deep or anything like that, okay? Just what's left over. And on the face, here's the Kosas Cloud Set Powder. Is this thing so out? I've had this for a while and I like it. Mm, this brush smells good. I use my Cinema Secrets brush cleaner. Dries in about 30 to 60 seconds and it smells like vanilla. So good. And we're pressing this in. I almost wiped, but then I was reminded don't do that because it just disrupts things. We're just pressing it in, okay? Like dabbing it. Looks blended so nicely. The face powder brings everything together. I get so zealous at this part that I sometimes forget my highlighter. What? Rare Beauty Flaunt. Taking my finger right down the middle of the nose. It all melts just so deliciously. Or of course, you can use the butt of your beauty sponge. It's just sometimes I don't have control over it when I use the beauty sponge. Hence why I'm using the finger because I need to control this. Sometimes it just be doing too much for me. But then sometimes the finger be making it look crazy too because it's not melted. It, 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 just, it just depends, you know? <laughs> It just depends, you feel me? <laughs> this will all come together when we do the lip, okay? So don't be alarmed. If you're new here, don't be alarmed, okay? Now this is the House Labs blush. I have not used this as much as I should. This is Watermelon Bliss Color Fuse Blush. Hello. MAC Blush Brush. Hi. This is so pretty. A nice watermelon. Ooh. Let's get a reminder. I don't remember what this looks like on me. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I remember this being very pigmented. Okay, here we are. Look, I hate when these brushes be shedding. Yes, I remember this being very pigmented. Pretty, go slow, work it up. This is very pigmented. Ooh, delish. Hmm, I wanted to put the shade Dragon Fruit on the apples, but now I don't, now I don't know. But I also feel like I should. What should I do? I don't know. <laughs> Let's do it, we're here. Dragon fruit, just right here. I don't know if you'll see it. And the apples, can you tell? Comment and let me know. I don't know. <laughs> let me not do too much and then be outside feeling wild and crazy, kid. Okay, love that. And then with what's left over on this brush that I used to contour, we're focusing right here where this L or J is because I wanna make sure that there's a gradient. I don't want there to be too much blush toward my hairline. It just needs to look like it, like an ombre. You feel me, you know? This blush looks subtle to me. Like it's there, but it's not loud. What do you think? Is it loud on the camera? I don't know. <laughs> okay, hold on. I want some more blush. I just I just need a little bit more. Of the watermelon bliss. Not the dragon fruit, because that one is too light. So let's get some more of this more back here, because you see how we were trying to ombre it? I can see the blush. Let me stop. Okay, we're getting a little out of hand now. Okay, I can see it. <laughs> Wiping off my brush on a paper towel in front of me. Now I'm gonna try to get the ombre going. Something's off. Something is off. I don't, uh, cause I don't normally do this blush. Something is off. <laughs> do you do powder blushes? I'm so spoiled by the cream blushes that I now feel out of place. Is my contour too low? Is that what it is? Let's just continue the face. It'll come to me once I continue the face. Back to one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. This is the Huda Beauty Chocolate Brown Eyeshadow Palette. We're gonna take this reddish brown color and go right here in the crease. I'm gonna try this Fenty eyeshadow stick out, but let's get this crease color down first. I'm doing a mixture of 
swiping and patting motions, especially up here, because I don't want to disrupt the concealer that I put down. And also I set it with powder, the same milk makeup powder. So here we are with the brown shade. We're going to deepen up this crease right here like so. This is a great palette to get because you can do lots of different eyeshadow looks with this. I've just been using it to do my crease color, but you can certainly do different looks with this. Very fall friendly too. While we're here, I'm gonna use this Sephora 14 brush to bring this same pattern down to the bottom. Here's the reddish brown. And then here's the dark brown color. I've got a bunch of these Fenty eyeshadow sticks. I was gonna do a dark smoky eye today, but I don't feel like it. I'm gonna do something more bronze. Okay, fall ready for sure. So here's the Fenty shadow stick. This is the shade You Ain't Ready. And I love how it looks like a lipstick. And the shape of it, I can tell, yep, it's gonna make applying it to the eye wicked easy. You can use this as a base or just use it as your actual eyeshadow. Ooh, look at that. We're gonna focus right here in the front of the eye. This is very pigmented, what? Oh my God. Okay, this can go left real fast. Okay, it's giving cut crease. Let's 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 slow down. Oh my God, this is so pigmented. It can go left, all right? So go easy with your application. Hard to get them to be equal. So soft. This is so soft and creamy, but look at how it's looking wild because it's just so soft and creamy. Be careful with the stick, okay? That is... It's a good thing, just be careful with it. Now here, I would like to use my finger. I can do the finger on this side because I have my nails. I don't wanna go in here and then spoil that whole thing. But let's blend this side. Ooh, it's, oh, maybe you can't blend too much. It's giving a little bit patchy. Oh, heck no. Okay, don't blend it because look, it's getting patchy, okay? And that was my finger, that was not the nail. Wait, okay, so if I'm not supposed to blend it, now I'm concerned about these lines right here. Okay, I'm taking this, okay. So perhaps use a brush when you wanna blend the line if you don't want it to look too hard. Wow, this dries quickly. What in the world? Fenty Beauty Shadow Sticks. Okay, all right. We were able to smooth that part out a bit and I'm wiping this brush on a paper towel in front of me to no longer apply product, but simply blend it. That was a little scary. <laughs> Go easy with this. See, it's patchy right there. You see that? Let me just pat, pat, pat. I don't know. Okay, now let's apply some more of the reddish brown right here to transition this corner out and then the darker brown. Because at first we were concentrating more in the crease, now we're here in the V. Okay, that looks good. Nice and fall inspired, sexy. Here's the brown, the dark brown. You can do a smaller brush, honestly. I'm going lightly here. You really should do a smaller brush to give you more control. Let me show you the right way with the smaller brush, okay? A smaller eyeshadow brush to be able to get right in here and right here. You're not covering a wide space, so the smaller brush gives you more control. Now I'm doing the reddish brown and the brown right here a little bit lightly. I'm not pressing too hard. I just dabbed off my brush and went back in because I want to blend right now. I don't want to add product. I want to blend this a little bit because I don't want this to be so harsh, but it's already dry. Do you see that? If you want a hard cut crease, this is great. I didn't want that per se. I was trying to figure this out. Let's see if I can blend this a little. Oh, is there any give? Are you going to give me any give? Kind of not really. Okie dokie. Reddish brown right up in here. All right, that that's just going to be what that is, I really would have liked for it to be more blended like this part versus, see how hard that is? Jeez, Fenty Shadow Sticks, y'all ain't playing no games, good God. Okay, here's the brown, I wanna deepen this some more. With a bronzy shade like this, you can put it all over the lid. That's not the look I wanted to go for, more in the front, as you can see, is what I was trying to do. You can do either. When you put it all over the whole entire lid, it's more of a bold look, okay? It's more of a very bold look if you wanna just call it what it is. And I do like to bring my contour color right down here. Just makes the look very dramatic. Ah, this is so hard. <laughs> like what in the world? Let's get the eyeliner going. This is Maybelline Infallible 36 hour eyeliner in black. Going under the eye also, because I'm gonna smudge that out. Use a flat liner brush from MAC to smudge this out. I don't know where this bottom eyeshadow went. So let's get some of this back. The brown and the reddish brown, tapping off the excess. Let's just go right here under this liner. I mean, I can see it, but not enough, you know? Always tap off the excess. 
Oh, we need eyeliner on the top line too, duh. Now for bottom mascara, you know that I have been loving this Fenty Beauty hella thick mascara. It is so freaking good. Of course, this will be good for the top lashes as well, but because I put falsies on top, I don't like to use my good stuff on the top. You feel me? I mean, hello, I need it for the bottom. Wow, I'm talking about one coat really gets the job done. It reminds me of the Huda Beauty one coat mascara, which is the same. One coat in that joint looks so good. Left and right motions going down, under, and twirling as well. To really get it going. I love when my bottom lashes are thick, chunky. That is it just makes me so happy. If you try this and love this, let me know. I have not even re-dipped and there's so much product coming out. For the lip, I have been binging this LYS liner in the shade Devotion. And then we're gonna do this beautiful Valentino lipstick. And this is 108A and it's a matte. Oh, I love the detailing on the lipstick itself. So pretty. Nice and creamy, creamy yet matte. Very comfortable. It's not a full coverage lipstick. I can still see the darkness on my lips in a pretty way though. It's not a full coverage. It's comfortable. I don't see the shine, but it's so creamy that I don't consider it a matte, but I get why they call it like this. It's very creamy. This is comfortable. If you love it and you wanna give it a shot, this is definitely gonna be a, it's gonna give you a comfortable matte effect. It ain't gonna be those dry mattes that we're usually used to, like a lip stain. Mm -mm, this is not it. Should I do a gloss? Ooh, we got a pink gloss from Milk Makeup. It has a shimmer to it. This is called Soul Search Odyssey Lip Oil Gloss. Ooh, <laughs> lip oil gloss. Let's add some, oh. All right, here's the finished look. I love the shade on me. What do you think about this look? Comment and let me know. The eyeshadow I think looks pretty as well. Watch some more videos, especially my Makeup for Beginners playlist if you are a beginner and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.